Hello guys, I'm Easy Eraser, and it seems single cylinders do draw a lot of attention, especially the largest ones, and so let's just talk about them again. The first comes Cummins Model F, built from 1927, and this is the first Cummins engine design using direct injection and also used in a multi-cylinder application. It was used as a genset in industrial or marine applications or even for irrigation hooked up to a pump, for instance pumping water from a 600 feet deep well. Next one comes Marshall 15-30, and this is prior they renamed their tractors like field marshals. This tractor was succeeded by 18-30 which had a higher RPM range. This one turned up to 550 RPM. They were built individually to customer specifications and rarely they were too alike. It was the first Marshall and there were two types of starting the engine. By hand, or a shotgun cartridge. Primo may be unknown to you, and it was to me also, but to Swedish, they should know it, because this is a Swedish company and it was very hard to research something about this engine. But it was built by Kristdala Motorfabrik in Kristdala district in Sweden. These engines were from 10 to 35 horsepower with electromagnetic ignition and were used as stationary or even portable like in the marine applications. It was also used as a sawmill in Sweden or Norway, and there are many unknown specifications of these engines. They may have been up to 10 liters of engine volume. Bayer is another Swedish company, which has produced a lot of hot bulb engines. They are also very hard to research because they are like nothing in the internet, but they were built for half a century, various hot bulb engines from 8 up to 35 horsepower and were produced in Vimmerby in Sweden. They were stationary, water-cooled and running on a crude or vegetable oil. There is one number which I have researched and it is the red line, 375 RPM. <laughs> Next engine comes surprise from Sweden. And this is Berlinder engine, also a hot bulb engine. Berlinder roll motor and in Sweden mostly produced two stroke hot bulb small marine engines from 5 up to 500 horsepower from single up to four cylinders. The four cylinders may have been up to 1000 liters and were sold mostly in fishing vessels. Singles produced from 5 up to 80 horsepower probably from 5 up to 50 liters of engine volume, with a rev range from 300 up to 850 rpm. The heaviest of them was about 5 tons of weight. Hornsby Ackroyd is a British company and this engine comes from 1895 
and it is a first heavy fuel engine, a forerunner of all hot bulb engines. It has 5 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque with a peak redline of 180 rpm. There is very little known about it, also very hard to research, but it was a stationary engine for flour mills or power generations, perhaps up to 60 liters of engine volume. The largest engine on this list a Delaverne works and it is a 330 litre engine. Obviously it is a single cylinder but this one is a 4 stroke diesel engine running on oil and weighs about 40 tons. The main bearing is about 315 kilograms of weight and the flywheel is 2.7 meter in diameter. This engine was used as a refrigeration machine for braveries or hotels or some other stationary applications. This engine could be the largest single cylinder engine in the world. <laughs> If you know any other interesting and large single cylinder engines, whether it is a gasoline, hot bulb or diesel engine, just comment down below and I may include it in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and see you next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.